Well, more than 26 million people here in the U.S. are relying heavily on their unemployment benefits, wondering what their financial future holds. And lucky for us today, we have one of the very best financial experts from Ramsey Solutions here to help plan for the future. So please welcome Chris Hogan. Chris, thanks for being with us. And we know a lot of people, obviously, in our country are worried about their futures, including you see Annette there. She knows and they know that their unemployment will be over soon. But a lot of people just don't know how they're going to get through this time. So how do you be Begin, Chris. Well, I think the first thing is is to take a deep breath. Uh, this is a tough time for a lot of people, and they're having to battle trying to get through to figure out what's next. And I think one of the ways to have that mind shift is what I call the AAA process. This is where you want to assess, acknowledge, and activate. Assess is where you're getting real with yourself about your situation. It's kind of a mindset shift. And acknowledging is identifying those changes that you can make. And then finally, activate is where you begin to make those changes. I'm telling people to be in conserve mode right now. This is where you're protecting your money, all the income that's coming in. You want to take care of the four walls first, and that's food, your shelter, your transportation, and utilities. You want to make sure you're able to take care of the primary things right now. All right. Well, Annette, uh, I don't know how much of that you're following already, but uh, Annette, one of our viewers here, has a question. Annette, go ahead with your question. So I'm just wondering, what do I dip into first when my unemployment is up, my savings or my retirement? I haven't been able to put money into my retirement. I'm 55 years old. Is that going to hurt me? Well, Annette, the first thing you want to do is go to savings. Uh, this is your emergency fund, which is really like a cushion between you and life. And I'm glad that you're not putting money toward retirement right now. You're pausing that. And once your income stabilizes, then you can start to put more money and start to invest. Now, you are still young. You've got plenty of time. Once you get yourself out of debt and build up an emergency fund, you can get back to investing and saving for your future. Yeah, and Annette, I want to know a little bit more about your situation. Can you explain it for us? And then I know on the back side of that, you have a question for Chris about deferrals. Yes, so I'm a single mother. I have a 17-year-old son who's just starting his senior year in high school. In early April, I was furloughed from my job in the trade show industry and have been collecting unemployment as well as receiving the enhanced federal uh, aid benefit, which ended in August. During that time, I've been staying afloat and trying to save a little money. Unemployment benefits have been extended until December. However, I could still possibly be out of work for another nine to 12 months. Mm. So uh, my question regarding deferrals is, is it wise to request a deferral on my mortgage as well as my credit cards? Okay, so Annette, you want to reach out to your companies and find out how they're working with people. However, I want to take a minute and explain the difference between secured debt and unsecured. Your mortgage and your car are secured debts. So if you don't make payments on those, you could potentially lose them. Okay, so unsecured debts are medical debts, personal loans, and credit card debt. I advise people, if you can't make the minimum payment, you can at least pay something. But I tell people, you can pay attention even if you can't afford to pay. That means communicating with the company, but find out you're not the only one in this situation. So contact those companies, advocate for yourself and find out how are they working with people and explain your situation and please make sure they document your account. And Annette, we really want to thank you for sharing your story with us because as you know, millions of Americans are in such a similar difficult situation. Yeah. So before we go, I know Chris, there's one more thing you wanted to tell Annette. I sure do. Annette, listen, we have done like a quick flyby over this situation. I told you, one of the things you need is a plan that really works, but more importantly, someone to walk with you. So what we're going to do is we're going to set you up for free full sessions with a Ramsey financial coach. Amy Green is going to work with you in your situation, and she's going to guide you. Now, Amy is not an investment professional. They work with investments. Amy is a financial coach, so she's going to act as a money mentor for you and help you build a budget and have a plan for this debt. How's That's that feeling, great. Annette? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris Hogan, thank you so much. And Annette, thank you as well. We are wishing you the very best. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.